Good morning, I'm Arash Di Bazaar, and this is your Droplet of Gold. And right now, it's either Labor Day or Memorial Day or some kind of day. I think it's Labor Day. So, everywhere is closed, but IMC Academy and Seductive Instinct is wide open, bright and early, and just killing it already. We had a brand new class today. Shout out to Laura Clayton, a.k.a. Jade. She killed it in her high interval impact training. Anyways, let me give you a Droplet of Gold. Anytime that you look at the cultures of the world from history coming forward, at the highest level of culture, we're talking about Egyptian, Roman, Greek, uh, Persian, Indian, Chinese, Japanese, African, uh, Mayan. At the highest level of their culture, something you will see happen. They had a very high level of aesthetic sense. Beauty. Aesthetic means beauty. They created the most incredible sculptures, um, statues, paintings, buildings, and they had a sense of beauty, a sense of aesthetic, a sense of awe when it came to the beauty of their environment and making it more beautiful. They appreciated beauty at the highest levels of their culture. It's part of the human being that we appreciate beauty when we're doing very well. If you take a drive through the slums, a uh, bad neighborhood, you'll see it looks down, it doesn't look good, it's gross, and you don't want to hang out there. If you go to the places where people are doing really, really well, very, very rich neighborhoods, it's beautiful. Just the gates of the houses are beautiful, the cars are beautiful, the streets, the lights, right? It is a condition of the human being that when he and she, or she is doing well, then the individual starts to accept, appreciate, and put forth aesthetic beauty. And it is also with that, the condition of the human being, that when they're not doing well, they attack beauty. So, for example, when countries would be taken over, one of the first things that would be done is they would burn down their statue, break their statues, burn down their paintings, and things like that. Why? Because to destroy a culture, to destroy a human being, you're going to have to destroy their sense of beauty and aesthetics. Now, I'm telling you this because you have been lied to for a very long time, and you've lost your sense of aesthetics and beauty. So here's the goal today. Here's your challenge. I want you to look around your environment and ask yourself, how can I make it more beautiful? Starting with yourself. You could look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror and ask yourself, how can I make myself more beautiful today? And don't apologize for it, you see? Because throughout history, you'll see. When we as beings were doing well, the, the culture was beautiful and there was beauty appreciated everywhere from every single culture, every time era, okay? So when you have the ethics and morals that are being pushed forward, which is doesn't matter what things look like, it doesn't matter, like it, it's just, it's, nothing matters. That's some big, big baloney, okay? Baloney. So... That's what I want you to do. Take a look to see how you could beautify your environment and, and don't apologize for your beauty. Don't apologize for your desire to make things beautiful. Do never ever apologize for, beautiful, for being beautiful. Women, I'm speaking to you now specifically. Never apologize for being beautiful, okay? It is one of the highest virtues of the human being to be able to appreciate and understand aesthetics, all right? This Saturday coming up is my next live online lecture at 8 p.m. California time and it's entitled The Chains of Freedom. I'm going to break down the, the, the subject of freedom in a way that will blow your mind and help you drop many chains uh, <laughs> that are in the matrix, okay? You go to seductiveinstinct.com, www.seductiveinstinct.com or www.imcmarshalarts.com and sign up there. It's 1997 and I'll see you Saturday night. All right? Be the best. Fuck the rest. Peace.